Hello everyone on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining the Stock Martin channel. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. Also drop me a down a comment down below so I can give you a shout out at the end of the video. Also, please smash that like button. Give me that big thumbs up. This shares this video with others and we can get this uh, channel growing. Thank you for all your support out there. We're doing really great with the subscription numbers and we're getting close to my 1000 target. Today I have a really great video for you and we're going to be talking about my uh, best picks for non-EV stocks. I have three of them for you uh, with very good growth. Uh, the growth is ranging anywhere from 50% all the way up to really 100% that can uh, increase your money if you invest wisely. Remember I'm not your financial advisor. Uh, please do your own due diligence before buying any of these stocks. Um, but definitely these do have a potential and I just like, would like to share some information with you about them. So let's get into this. The three stocks I would like to talk to you about. First, I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the stock Golden Nugget. It's actually been compared to DraftKings. DraftKings is one of my best um, companies out there uh, to invest in because it has a really uh, great movement upward. It has great returns, but Golden Nugget is fairly new. It is a company stationed from Houston, Texas, and it just recently got started uh, through a SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company, and it has been hit pretty hard, and you can get it at dirt cheap prices right now, but it has a very big potential moving upwards. So uh, this article I would like to share with you is from Yahoo Finance, and it does compare the two, and which of these uh, DraftKings versus Golden Nugget has the higher returns. Just looking at the performance on both of these stocks, the uh, DraftKings is in red and uh, Golden Nugget is in green. Um, as you can see, DraftKings has really taken off on January of last year, uh, 2020, and it has been doing phenomenal. Um, Golden Nugget is a little bit behind. Um, it did uh, get its SPAC acquisition just recently and it has uh, been uh, steadily increasing. Golden Nugget has had a 32.3% uh, performance rate compared to uh, Dra uh, DraftKings, which has been 402% since it's uh, been debuted. However, let's talk about this and see if it's a good investment. So DraftKings right now is one of my favorite ones. As I have mentioned, it is an online gaming and entertainment company. It does provide um, sporting betting, uh, daily fantasy sports, online casino gambling. So it is a gambling stock. Same thing with Golden Nugget as well. Looking at DraftKings, uh, there has been an analyst that have uh, reviewed this and they have given it a buy with a target price of $75, which is about a 50% upside. As a final comment for their reviewer or the analyst of this stock, uh, they write, ultimately, we remain confident that DraftKings' structural abilities, but hesitant to react aggressively one way or the other, pending more conclusion on information. Longer term, we remain comfortable with DraftKings' positioning and capabilities. It is a very big, strong company, as I mentioned. Um, in Q1, uh, DraftKings has had a revenue of $312 million, which has jumped 253% year-on-year. Revenue was also up 175% year on year. However, on the downside, the company has lost some money. Uh, they lost $346 million Q1 versus the loss of $68 million the same quarter last year. DraftKings has raised its financial outlook in the fiscal year 2021 and expects revenues to land between $1 billion and $1.15 billion dollars versus earlier forecasts, which were a lot lower, $900 million to $1 billion. So it looks like their, their revenue is uh, expected to go up. Looking at DraftKings um, and TipRanks analysts, TipRanks does give DraftKings a 12-month potential of $69, which is a 44% upside. And its uh, highest price target uh, with these analysts were $105 with the lowest uh, target price of being $42.50. 20 analysts have reviewed this stock. 16 gave it a buy for a hold, zero sell, which is great news for DraftKings and this uh, stock. I think it's very good. 
when we do compare it to Golden Nugget, this is where the opportunity, in my opinion, is. But again, do your own due diligence before purchasing any stocks. But Golden Nugget is also an online gaming and digital sports entertainment company. Uh, also involves uh, gambling online. Golden Nugget has posted revenues of $26 million in quarter one, which is up 54% year over year. However, this company has uh, posted adjusted loss before taxes of $3.5 million, and so it's losing a lot less money. It is generating a little bit less money as well, but it's a newer company. For fiscal year 2021, Golden Nugget uh, forecasts of 130 million to 145 million in revenues. So the same analyst that reviewed DraftKings uh, reviewed Golden Nugget, and he gave it a buy with a price target of 28 dollars, which is a 121 percent upside on this stock. Therefore, it's uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, speculative stocks to purchase. Um, it is a little bit more riskier than uh, DraftKings, but it does again have a lot more reward and a lot more pressure going upwards. He did mention the analyst overall would believe the company is uniquely positioned to capture the higher margin iGaming customers and achieve profitability earlier than its peers. So remember iGaming is just starting off and it will be uh, big in the future. They are projecting that over the uh, four years Golden Nuggets revenues have compounded average growth of 50 percent and it's continually expanding in the United States as it's uh, widening further. The analyst also writes that Golden Nugget is expanding rapidly into new markets. It's uh, making a significant strategy investments in player acquisition. And we expect uh, the investment to result in a negative EBITDA in the first two years of operation while achieving a break even after three years of iGaming space. So this company will uh, go in, uh, in the uh, break-even point in about three years. So like I said, it is a fairly new company, but it does have a big uh, chance of growth. So bottom line, this analyst does say that uh, we're very bullish on uh, DraftKings, and they are cautiously optimistic about Golden Nugget as the company is still in the process expanding in different markets in the United States. But based on the upside potential over the next 12 months, Golden Nugget seems to be a better buy. So again, this is one of my um, projected and uh, one of the stocks that I like uh, looking forward. Um, if you look in the past six months, this stock has gotten really hammered. It was um, high at the beginning of the year on January 13th. It was trading at $22.80, and we have steadily been going down. Um, so it does give us a little bit of a buying opportunity. The lowest that it has been is $10.52 on May 13th. And uh, in the past month, as we can see, we still are going on a downward trend. I would say if you do invest in this, again, I'm not your financial advisor, but don't go in heavy. You might want to uh, just grab a few shares and uh, see the potential of this is, uh, is big. But again, we are still going on a downward trend and haven't really received a base yet. We have tested a, um, a base a consolidation around $12, but it looks like that we're going a lot lower than that. Again, we're uh, at $12.02, uh, but there still could be some potential to go down. So uh, there is some potential there to, to get that up. So as we, you can see in the past week, uh, we went from $13 all the way down to about $12, uh, yeah, $11.90 it looks like we uh, went down. So we are still going on a downward trend, but again, if you can put this on your radar, it is one of my favorite uh, stocks looking forward um, that should do very, very well in the future. And then uh, we did talk about the um, analysts uh, for tip ranks. Uh, two analysts gave it a moderate buy, um, zero hold, zero sell, with an upside potential of $24, which is a 99% upside from this stock now. The highest stock price target is $28, the lowest being $20, and the average being uh, $24. If you look at the highest price target, we're looking at over 100% of your money. And even if you go to the lowest price target in the next 12 months, what did we say? We're trading at $12 now you're still looking at a very nice increase uh, on this stock. But it is fairly new, and uh, Golden Nugget is still trying to establish itself as a company. So you might see uh, dips in the road, but definitely worth looking at.
The second stock I did want to talk to you about is PaySafe. Uh, this PaySafe uh, stock is also very new, and I think it's a great buy right now. Um, again, please do your own due diligence before purchasing any of the stocks. But uh, let me just give you uh, two big pieces of the news. And also to let you know, PaySafe is a electric payment company that you can use your digital wallet, electronic cash. So, but again, uh, the two big news on PaySafe, ticker PSFE, like two big pieces of news. First is that PaySafe announced that it is expanding its partnership with FoxBet. It is a big expanded partnership and PaySafe will be the one providing the digital wallet and electronic cash products for these online sports betting platform on Fox Bet. And this partner right now is limited to Michigan. However, it will be going to other markets as well. And additionally, on Wednesday, PaySafe, this is even bigger news, announced that the company will be expanding an existing partnership with Microsoft. And the partnership expands to allow online cash transactions with the Microsoft Xbox online store in 22 countries. So anytime that you use any kind of trading or buying on your Xbox, Microsoft Xbox, you are likely going through PaySafe. This is huge for the company and I think has a very big potential. And so I think this uh, made my list as well. Uh, looking at PaySafe stock, it also has been uh, hammered down quite a bit in the past six months. As you can see on January 21st, we reached a high of $19.57 was its 52-week high, and it, we tested that on January 21st, and we have gone down a total of 20.9% in the past uh, month, six months, excuse me. The lowest that it was trading was uh, $10.37 back on May 13th. In the past month, uh, we are still, uh, we were still trading downwards, uh, but we did have a little bit of bump up whenever we heard all that good news about Microsoft, the Xbox, and um, also th this uh, big potential uh, to get a lot more revenue. And uh, But again, we are seeing a sell-off, so it looks like uh, investors are swing trading this stock as well. But over the past month, we are down about 7%, so it does give you a potential. Let's look at the future of this stock. I'm looking at our uh, tip ranks. Tip ranks gives pay safe. Uh, seven analysts reviewed it, and seven give it a strong buy, zero hold, zero sell. Uh, the highest price target in 12 months, the analysts give it a $19 uh, dollar, uh, price target with a lowest price target of $15. Also right now, as I mentioned, we are trading at $11.42. So even if you buy it right now, the lowest price target in 12 months will be $15. So again, you'll still be up on this stock if you hold it for 12 months. The average price target is that $16.71, which gives us uh, upside potential of 46%. If you do look at the highest uh, price target on this, you're looking close to about 80% upside on your money. So very good stock also to look into. Again, I can't give you financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Please do your due diligence before purchasing this stock as well. The last stock I would like to talk to you about that I uh, have a big conviction for and that I like a lot is Skills. Uh, Skills, Skills stock became the first publicly traded mobile uh, esports platform. So what this means is this is a gaming platform that's online. It's a comp competition based and uh, this stock I think will do very, very well in the future as um, things will start moving, uh, especially video gaming and entertainment will go mostly online as we've seen in the past five years. So the skills stock, as I mentioned, it is uh, the games people play. Um, it's a mobile gaming infrastructure for the future of entertainment. And that's what uh, skills is really trying to get its investors on. Uh, since the onset of COVID-19 and the pandemic, We've had a lot of people stay at home and trying to entertain themselves, and they've been doing this by playing video games online and on their mobile phones. So we have seen a big increase in the amount of uh, skills uh, being used. So skills does have a big market cap. Uh, evidently, investing in skills means that uh, taking a stake 
in this industry, according to the company, the uh, gaming industry is about an $86 billion mobile gaming market, and uh, skills represents about 23% of the overall gaming market. Um, we are starting to see that skills uh, estimates that 57% of its target market are females, uh, but clearly it's uh, projected that uh, more and more people are using it, and it's practically enjoyed by everyone. The fiscal data also supports skills, and uh, in the first quarter of 2021, skills reported $84 million in revenues, which is up 92% year over year. The company also reported 81% year over year growth in monthly uh, active users paying their monthly dues. Looking into the future, the outlook remains very optimistic as Skill raises its uh, full year 2021 revenue to $375 million. And this analyst says that investors really couldn't ask for more proof that the company is executing on its mission to revolutionize the e-gaming market. Uh, Skills continues to push the envelope in recent development. The company announced that it has entered into agreement to acquire a leading technology-driven uh, marketing platform called Arky. And this is an advanced advertising company that has the capabilities to uh, broaden its already biggest uh, uh, footprint in the mobile gaming industry. So the bottom line for this analyst, uh, they say that it makes perfect sense for skills to broaden its industry footprint through this new uh, company that they purchased is Arky. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and it is an artificial intelligence driven market. The stock in the past month, as you can see, has been beaten up, not as much as the other two, Paysafe and Golden Nugget. Uh, but on uh, February 5th, we did see that it was trading at a high of $43.72. And it went down quite a bit. Let's take a look here. It went down 71% uh, with its low being on April 20th. And uh, we have seen a little bit of a move back up. Looks like we're testing a consolidation. Um, it looks like it tested back in May last month about $15. But we are trading right now at uh, $19.50. Looking back at its one month, you can see um, that uh, the consolidation was about the 19 uh, dollars, uh, but we did have uh, quite a bit of a sell-off of $23. We retested that resistance of $22 and again fell. It looks like uh, this past week we have been, been going down on a downslope, so we'll have to see if that consolidation, that base, is going to remain at $19, but there's definitely big potential for this stock. Again, if you purchase this stock, please do your own due diligence before purchasing it. Looking at the forecast, of skills, according to tip ranks, five analysts reviewed it. They give it a moderate buy, three give it a buy, two a hold, zero sell. It does have the highest price target of $34, with uh, the lowest price target is $17, an average of $24.50, which gives it about a 25.5% upside. So out of these three, uh, this one does give you the least amount of upside of, on your money. And noticed also on these three, um, the lowest price target, this one, you could potentially actually lose money. It's trading at $19 right now. And so if you look at the worst case scenario, you could still go down to $17. I would give this one a buy. If you can get this uh, at $15, I would give it a strong buy. But you might just want to keep this one on your radar as well. I think all three stocks are a good uh, chance to uh, look into some non-EV companies if you wanted to diversify, which is very important for your portfolio. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked these three stock picks that I gave you, Golden Nugget, PaySafe, and Skills. I think all three of these are really good to look at. Um, please do your own due diligence before purchasing any of these stocks, though, and also don't go in heavy. Um, remember, at a dollar cost average, look at the base and uh, try to not uh, buy high. Um, if this has helped you, please comment down below. Um, also, give me that thumbs up. It'll share this video with others. Smash that, hit that thumbs up button. It's very important for the YouTube algorithm so we can uh, spread this video to others. If you're new to the channel, please give me that comment down below and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If you leave me that comment down below, I'll give you a shout out at the end of my videos. But thank you so much uh, for all your help and all your support. We're really getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, so I really appreciate you. If you can share this with your friends, your, your coworkers, your family, and that next door neighbor, I really appreciate it.
If you would like to help out the channel, I put two links below. One is for Weeble. If you deposit $100, you get two free stocks now trading at $2,300 up to that amount. And if you deposit $100 in a Coinbase, you get $10 in cryptocurrency for trading. Thank you so much for your support.